Well, it's being called one of the worst cases of animal cruelty in Monroe County, as far as the sheriff's office has ever seen. Nearly a dozen pit bulls found starving and locked outside a home. Hard to believe. Yeah, Fox 16 Susan L. Corey explains investigators are trying to why the two people living at the home had so many dogs. Susan. Donna and Kevin, right now the sheriff's office believes those dogs were being used for breeding, but some were also pretty scratched up, so they think those were fighting each other. With everything these dogs have been through, volunteers tell me they're going to need a lot of help just recovering. When there's water, these dogs can't get enough. He's like, I want every drop. Draining their bowls, something they weren't given at their last home. I don't understand how somebody could just care that little. Katie Maselli is used to being a dog's last resort through her work with Out of the Ashes Pitbull Rescue. But she says these guys were living in some of the worst conditions she'd ever seen. They've been living in dirt. And these dogs have been outside with no food, no water, nothing. They're just two of 11 dogs found severely malnourished and locked up outside a Brinkley home off Highway 70. This video shows the dogs as they were being rescued Wednesday night. None of them weigh more than 40 pounds. You can pick them up with one arm. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, these two people, Duran Brown and Starlet Watson, are facing multiple animal cruelty Investigators believe the two were using the dogs for breeding and also fighting. Maselli says what's most concerning is one dog they found who just had puppies. She ate her puppies. That's how desperate these dogs were. All the dogs need a lot of TLC. Antibiotics, flea and tick medication. But Maselli says the only signs of abuse. He just wants somebody to love him. And they're all like that. Are what they carry on their body. Both Brown and Watson by the Monroe County Sheriff's Office each face 11 animal cruelty counts, which are misdemeanors, and all the dogs are now in foster homes. I have more information on how you can help them up on our website. Back to you.